So if you don't know me, I am Ricky and Denise's youngest son, Joe, Joseph, legally. He won't call me Joe. No, because I called, I named you Joseph. <laughs> anyway, I had this little idea to uh, do a three-year review of Mom and Dad's trike. And uh, I'm going to be looking at my notes here and there. But first thing I want to talk to him about was the reasons for switching to the trike. Sure well, several. Okay. We started full time RVing three years ago. And we had two. I had a 2013 CVO Road Glide. She had a 2016 Street Glide. Uh, we had a used Raptor toy hauler at the time. So we carried both of them. But uh, mom had only been riding, or Denise had only been riding five, maybe six years. And we live in a very rural area, uh, not that it's not traffic. But uh, when we started full-timing, uh, we started getting in larger cities, a lot more traffic, just uh, a lot more, well, just wasn't as safe. So, uh, and the two, not that they were hard to load, but it made them more difficult to load. So. Right, mom would help, but there's a lot of work loading both. You got to worry about them falling over. Mm -hmm. With three wheels, yeah. it ain't going to tip over. You'd no. be in a world of hurt if, <laughs> if that thing tipped over in there. Yeah, well, the whole trailer would be turned over. Uh, it's uh, for us now, and her with a YouTube channel, uh, she can sit on the back, she can take pictures, she can video. You know, now she's got a helmet that she. Right, she's doing the audio, the audio the and everything. Too. Yeah, so and not taking anything away from mom, no. she rode some places that most people can't ride. You know, she done the tail of the dragon. Y'all done the million dollar highway together too, didn't yeah. you? Well, yeah, that was but after, they after she watched, she she had at that time the video camera uh, on top of her windshield. So when she went back and watched the video, she got scared because as long as she was on, <laughs> long she was on the bike, you know, she's concerned about you know making the turns and all that. But when she went back and looked at the video, it, uh, she said, "Wow, that million dollar highway ain't no joke." We went out, uh, Shelby and I, my wife, went out to visit mom and dad, and I've been on some sketchy roads, which it was beautiful, but. Uh, yeah, that million dollar highway. That was one that y'all definitely marked off. That was a well, the worst time was we made a, about a 300 mile tour and we were going to stay the night in uh, Montrose. We just made a big circle and they were having an air show there and I couldn't believe it. And uh, but there were no motel rooms. So we we had to come back and she said there was a storm. So anyway, we suited up, but thankfully we never uh, run into a storm. If it did, it passed over. But we rode over it uh, about eight or nine o'clock at night, totally in the dark. Which the trike uh, has got good lights on it. Uh, we did see some deer on the side of the road, but they just kind of stood there. But that was more difficult than in the daytime, to say the least. Right. So those are some of the reasons for switching to the trike. You know, the ease of loading, they can ride together, which is safer. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I'm in control. Right, right. <laughs> she don't ever pat you on the back or uh, occasionally, start hollering yeah, at you, does she on the back? Huh? Yeah, occasionally. <laughs> uh, so you have, I know you have a lot of likes for the trike versus the two regular bikes. Did you have any dislikes of the trike? I knew it took a little bit of getting used to riding, didn't it? Yeah, it did. I mean, you know, it's, if you've ridden any at all, I mean, you've got, there's no leaning. Yeah. I mean, I still, we still ride with guys that are on two wheels and, you know, they're just leaning into the curve where I, you know, you have to steer into the curve. Uh, but all together now that we've had it uh, this long, you know, it's, you've gotten used to it. You've gotten used to it. Don't, you know, roll up to a stoplight. You don't have to worry about putting your feet down. You just sit there, you know. It's bigger. One of, one of the first things that I had to really watch for was when I pulled in the gas station, the fender sticking out. 
Right. Uh, first time I almost clipped the post, and thankfully she was on the back screaming at me uh, <laughs> to uh, to watch the post. But now, you know. Gotten used to the width. I've gotten used to the width, but that's, that's a big difference as well. I know it would take some getting used to. I rode it around the block here uh, where we live, and I rode it right back in. <laughs> well, until, you, until you know, until we made some changes on it, uh, I told her, I said, I'm going to look like Popeye when I, before I get through riding this thing. But due to some of the changes that we made, and I'm assuming we're going to talk about it a little bit. Yeah, uh, we have a, a list of mods we're going to get into, but uh, one of the big things with the handling was the lift and the bars, right? Well, the, the main two things is the lift and the bar. I first put the lift on it, which made a substantial difference in uh, how it handled. And that's just a lift? Yeah, all it shock. is is a plate and, and lifts the shock, but it lifts the body up. Right. It just I kind know. of changes the geometry. Yeah, well, it, it puts, to me, it put you know, it puts more on the, your steering cylinder in the front. Right. Uh, so it, it makes it steer easier. Got a semi coming by here. Right yeah. here in the country, we've got a lot yeah. of logging trucks. This is log, log road. Right. But uh, not only that, I mean, the, the first time I loaded it, uh, I was used to riding a two wheel up and didn't really think about it. Well, so when I hit the ramp, you know, I you hit the, the pipes in the bit. back and it just stalled the motorcycle out. Right. So, uh, may not sound like a lot, but raising it up an inch and a half uh, made a big difference for, you know, as low, even curbs. I mean, we've been a bunch of places, the curbs low uh, and, and it wants to hit it. Right. And then the Handlebars. Handlebars. I was going to look to put 12 inch on it, and the place that I was at at the particular time, I had a throttle issue, and uh, anyway, I put 14s on it, and uh, I like them. I had, I had 14s on my other bike, and... Uh, Gives you a lot more leverage, yeah. you know, too, because you're only steering on this thing. You're not leaning it at yeah. all, you know? Right. Absolutely. So then, uh, that was mostly likes. A few dislikes, just getting used to it, really, would be the only big dislike. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I still, you know, I still miss the cur I still miss the leaning at times, but... Uh, but you had a nice scooter. Maybe we can put a couple <laughs> yeah. links or something to his, uh, yeah. his scooter. But, uh, yeah, I had, I had the motorcycle of my dreams, really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's I did nice like riding it. I would ride it more than I rode this trike. Not throwing any shade on yeah, the trike, but that was a that was a bad bike. It was the mom's nice was bike. nice too. It was a nice bike. But I think I think you guys have made a really good decision. For us now and what we do, I call it an old man ride. But uh you know, more and more people are getting them for a lot of various reasons. Uh the guy that I bought it from. He's actually shorter than I am, not much, but uh, he said him and his uh, girlfriend, fiance, had, they had a bike, and you know he went to make some turns and uh, slow turns, and he laid it over two or three times. So he simply got one for the know, passenger aspect, for the passenger aspect, and not having to worry about uh, you know turn it over and land over right so uh pretty much a three-year review they got it in october of 2020 and it was brand new and that was in kansas yeah was it a, it was in uh what was the name of that dealer? wichita wichita twister city twister city yeah hd okay um, um yeah, we went in. That was the story within itself. We ain't got time to go over through all that. But actually, long story short, uh, a gentleman he used to enter the back of my road glide sitting in the parking lot. But we got I that out. that was there. That huh? was that day, that, wasn't that it? Was that that day. That's the day that, that I bought it, yeah. Yeah. That was uh, kind of a, yeah. a story in itself. But, you know. Everybody was okay with it. Actually, the guy that, uh, my understanding, bought it, uh, I don't know that he even put the fender back on it, but the guy just, he couldn't have hit it no no easier and hit it, but 
anyway uh, we traded that day. We rode it down the road a little bit. They had just got it, I think, the day or so before. Uh, rode it down the road, and we gee hauled a little bit. And oh, and everything swap. happens for a reason, you know. You guys were looking, thinking about it, but if that guy wouldn't have backed into you that day, and they wouldn't have had this there, you may not have got it. Well, that's yeah, absolutely. Uh, we had looked at one in Albuquerque. Didn't really get. Uh, too much into it and uh, actually I was just walking around even in the time uh, in the Harley dealer but anyway that all worked out and uh, we uh, we brought it home and you know the older trikes were just about as heavy as this one but they didn't they were lacking in the power you know with this having the 114 and you know, with the technology and the way Harley's redone them, and uh, I'm sure that makes a big difference in it being so heavy. But. Well, you know, I never had, I didn't have one before, but uh, it's, uh, it ain't no slouch. It, no, it, it'll get on down the road. It'll do, well, it depends on what you want to do, but it'll, it'll do all I want to do, even though I won't say no names, but I got a friend, he had to just one-up me, he had to put a stage one kit and some stuff on his. But, yeah, yeah. You know how that, yeah. You'll have that. Yeah, I know how that is. But, uh, yeah, I guess we can uh, go over some of the mods. Some of them are aesthetic. Some of them are, we've talked about the lift and the, and the bars, but. Uh, you know, you can say that lighting is aesthetic, but and nah, it's not. No, you know, you're I, no. getting that visibility. Yeah, people I'm, seeing you, yes. you seeing better. And, yeah. you know, in the in dark and. Obviously, I like lights. If you've you know looked at the channel at all, I mean, I've put a lot of lights on the truck. I've I put lights on the back of this camper simply for visibility. Right. And I've had some folks that have followed us and other campers, campers, campers. <laughs> Uh, and you know, they were excited about it because y you could see it, you know, right. even above uh, another vehicle. And uh, got a whole list of lights here you've changed. Let's go ahead. Yeah, well, starting with the lights, of course, these these are all stock. Uh, the house in stock on these, but we uh, put the LEDs in it. Uh, we done this all the week uh, before Sturgis. We were at a, uh, in South Dakota, Rapid City, Rapid City. Rapid City. Uh, South Dakota, at the Harley dealership there, and the son of my mother had their tent set up. So we rolled in, and you know I started out well. I want these, and then I saw these. We had these put on, and this, and the mirrors. Uh, all at the same time. And a windshield. And a windshield. Yeah. Uh, but the, you can see that. And that goes back to that visibility. You know, you got yeah. a lot of turning lights there. You yeah. Know? That's, uh, these, these don't blink in sequence, but. They're blinking. Each, each side blinks. Uh, now, this is just a, this is just a kick, but uh, they make them to go right around here. Yeah, gonna get some of them someday. Uh, but on the lights, heard that here first. huh? Y'all heard that here first. Yeah, He's yeah, for yeah. No, maybe well, enough views. Yeah, you know, we can get the lights put on here. But uh, <laughs> th these are a little different. I saw these mirrors. Obviously, they're not stock. Uh, the only thing that I mean, I know now, but the first time I rode it at night and maybe she can get a shot of it around here uh yeah they light up on the back side too don't they? uh well you see the brake light on the back side which in the daytime it doesn't it doesn't bother you at all but the first time i done it at night it liked to put my eyes out right. but now that i know so i'm uh i'm prepared for that but i do like it because you know it's it's not only running lights but uh, they're blinkers as well. And while we're on the front, uh, another thing that I put on it is, you know, these are just caps. They're, they're just chrome caps. They're not to, 
uh, I cheesed out and it gets a, some fancier ones, but they make caps for them. I just think it adds a little bit to it. Uh, I did take off the reflectors here, and I will say this while I'm here uh, very quickly. When we were in Texas, the salty, salty air, air, it's just, it's just, it's just terrible. And uh, that's one thing that I don't particularly like about these wheels. Of course, they're machine grooved, and you know, I've cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned, and they're, they're, it's still hard to deal with. These I've actually stripped and uh, repolished uh, them uh, to to get them back close to what they were. Actually, I've got them in pretty good shape now. Another thing that we put on was what he's putting his foot on. Uh, a lot of people ride without them. Even though I'm short, I still like them. Uh, the foot pegs, uh, we, uh, I put them on. I can either set my heel on the board and my toe on the front, or you know, I got them set to where I can stretch all the way out. So I wanted to just say one thing. There is uh, an answer to those wheels. I mean, yeah, that's an answer. They make new ones. Yeah. Yeah. That are chrome and shiny. Yeah, yeah that's go ahead. What I'm talking Put about. a 30 up there, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, if, if I could put anything else on the bike, that's what it would be, would be wheels uh, right. for it. I'm, I'm just, I'm just not a fan of these. They, like I say, they're machined and uh, they're little grooves. And there, you just literally have to stay on them all the time to keep them clean. Right. Uh, so we went over all the lights on the front, mirror lights. Uh, did, did going we, along with the lights. Did we mention the handlebars while we were talking about it? We didn't. We didn't. We can get back to the bars now that we're well, moving around looking. I'll just go from the front to the back. Uh, Well, I thought it was a throttle issue, and of course, uh, I kind of used it as a to get some taller bars. But uh, we were in Hurricane, uh, Utah, actually, uh, just right down the road from Matt's off road. But there's a dealership right off the interstate. Anyway, they were looking at the bike and asking if it had any. I actually looked for, I asked him for twelves, and they didn't have any, and they had the fourteens. And I wasn't sure because you know I'm pretty short. Uh, he said, "Now nah, you'll you'll be fine and you'll like them." And uh, what brand and I, are those? Do you remember? Huh? Uh, they they're similar to the ones you had on your other yeah, bike. Yeah, I forget. Brand. Uh, you know, m most Harley dealerships carry them. Uh, I want to say three, two, one or something, but I don't I don't remember. But it's uh. But we had gotten up to Zion, up out of the tunnel. Yeah. We didn't have a throttle, so when he got to the Harley dealership. He calls me and says, they're going to have to take the whole fairing apart to get to this wiring. So now would be a perfect time. Well, they, yeah, go they, ahead. They, they want, yeah, well, hey, I'm not, I'm, <laughs> I'm a redneck, but I ain't completely stupid. Uh, but uh, it, it turned out that, uh, and, and I may have done it because I had to, uh, another point, uh, I never had to do this with my 2013 CVO. I always put my bob in, in the door and it would travel, never had any problem. She, with her 16, you have to set uh, what's called travel mode. Well, we left Texas and we forgot to put it in travel mode anyway. Uh, drain the battery? Drain the battery, so I had to jump it. Well. Evidently, when I put it back together, I got I got it on this wire just enough, and it had rubbed just enough while we were there to uh, cause it to to the have throttle a throttle issue. body problem. <laughs> but I got a new set of bars. New there. bars, new yeah. grip. You did the grips at the same I time. I got the grip. Well, we got the grips actually before we left. There were three things that I done to it for ever left. Uh, the dealership. Dealership and when you and, bought it new. And in Wichita was I put new grips on it. I put the road pegs on it. Actually I put them on myself, but I bought them and I had the Reinhardt slip-ons put on. 
Loud pipes. Save lives or something like that, right? Well, that's that's <laughs> what they say. Reinhardt's known to be louder. I kind of like a little crisper sound. Uh, but uh, so those were sort of three things that we done. And while we're here, the other thing, uh, actually she liked this as well. And uh, we were in... Uh, Asheville. Asheville, North Carolina. And... Uh, saw it and uh, on a bike and then they had one and got it and we put that on. Uh, cup holder. Cup holder. I got, I actually, I bought that also uh, when we bought the bike. Forget about that. We bought that uh, when we got the bike, put it on because if you've been around her at any time at all, yeah, she's carrying drink. something to drink with her, which is a good thing. Uh, and I just have to stand here and look at it to see the things that uh, we've done. I also put the bras on it, and and and, and I'm good with that. Uh, but a friend of mine done something that I didn't think about, which I think is a very good idea. Uh, he had the 3M put over it, so it's still clear. Right. Uh, the only thing about the bras, they, they have a tendency to work a little bit. Uh, so I need I need to take it off more than I have to clean polish. Clean under and polish under it. But I still like them because it, you know, you can't hardly help from not bumping it or, you know, rocks bugs flying and up, rocks bugs and, and everything else. Yeah. All right. And as far as lights as well, we. We were at the heavy duty truck rally, and that's what they told me when uh, I put uh, all the LEDs on the front, that sometime the computer is so sensitive that I would probably have to change these. And uh, so I did, well, actually what I done is I put the bras on, and when I plugged it back up, the computer, uh, I don't know what they had done, but they somehow got it to, to read. But when I done that, it, it didn't like it. So I ordered these and uh, put them on most of, most of this stuff. And not that these are actually Harleys, but most of this stuff is plug and play. Right. Uh, so when you plug the stock lights back up behind the LEDs that were on right. there. Well, the LEDs pull different voltage. Uh, right. And, so and, and the, it's just amazing to me. I mean, you really don't think about computers on motorcycles, at least I don't. Uh, but they do have a computer on it, and it's very sensitive. Uh, there's a lot that goes on. There, there's ABS, traction AB, control. ABS, tra all the this lights, has, yeah, radio. It has ABS, traction control, and uh, all that good stuff. This uh, ain't your uh, carbureted 88, is it? No, <laughs> no, it's not. So. Uh, uh, another friend, and th this is one thing that I like about the RV life, and I'll just say this, and not just RV life, because I look at YouTube all the time, but another friend of ours just bought one, beautiful. See, so you watch this, dude, you got one, in my opinion, one of the prettiest ones that I've seen, uh, because, but he's, he's, he continually works on it himself, I mean, and he's made major changes in his. He, he changed all the lights. Uh, to smoke and all, uh, but he had these here, and he's had a short bra with snaps on it, uh, and he put one in the front as well. Uh, I couldn't do it with a the longer bra with a bra. So he's got these on the front. He's got these on the front and the back. Yeah, these. And uh, right it's just amazing. We followed him, and she'll tell you, and everybody that was following him was talking about how much difference those two lights right there made in right. visibility behind. And they break and blink as well. And this is in the daytime in the sunlight. Right. I don't know how well the camera sees it, but visually uh, you can see. So anyway, uh, we put those on, you know, and Harley, and one dealership, the guy, and he said it right. You know, uh, they don't come with trunk carriers on them, so you have to buy them separately. Uh, 
So we put the trunk carry on it. We put the flag holders on it just recently. Uh, but uh, I was about to say, I had a friend uh, that had a bumper on his, and uh, I'll just say he uh, accidentally rolled back into somebody. And uh, on the ferry. Well, I wasn't going to go there, but uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, I'd mentioned the bump forward, but see that, thank you, thank you. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. thank you, Randy, because that way she saw what could happen very quickly. And this is all one piece. So if you crack it, you, you have to buy the whole assembly. So uh, they actually, I, I call it a bumper, but they actually call it a trunk guard. So we've just recently put that on. Uh, that was kind of hard to find, wasn't it? Had to wait on it? Uh, yeah, well, it... Uh, yeah, well, I, I have a saying, but uh, probably shouldn't say it on here. But uh, yeah, we couldn't find it, and I finally, I finally found some, and it was amazing. It was just about you know everywhere I checked didn't have any. Uh, but they're 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 most of this stuff uh, you can put on yourself if you know anything. Now, Cecil, the guy's got the nice red one. He's put air right on his in the front. I mean uh, in the back You know, he just done things to his that most people don't do most especially by yourself uh, but All that being said uh, and another thing uh, we were in Texas again and I left my antenna on and it was rusted so getting it off uh, I just twisted it all in too so uh that's the reason it's like this yes, we bought a shorty and uh you don't have to take it on and off all the time so i don't have to take it on and off i mean i haven't put the cover on since we put these on uh we didn't make them where they would fall down because somebody didn't like the way they moved and I ain't, that's all i'm gonna say uh but that's uh that's pretty much it but all this you know custom dynamics and i'll give them a pitch for that custom dynamics if you know anything about bikes they're awesome with their lighting uh 95 plus percent these are the only things that i didn't get that came uh led from custom dynamics uh except for the mirrors now i take it back the mirrors uh so mirrors from, and tail lights were well, they, these come from another company completely different, and right. uh, these are these are Harley. But that's, you know, that's for the present distress, that's uh, pretty much it. I see the boss walking around, so I'm assuming she's got some idea or something that we ain't see it. But uh, I, there again, I was very hesitant or reluctant uh to get a track to get a track but uh now that we have had it uh you know almost three years actually this no right at three because you yeah, got right in october we got 20. in october yeah so this his october name, will be three huh his name is flyer <laughs> flyer f-l-y-e-r well you know in hdt uh, RV and world, you know, they name their truck and they name their car. I name everything too. You know, yeah, well, that's true. I'm, I'm not big on that. And, and the reason I called it that, I grew up, of course, this is not red, but I grew up riding a little red tricycle. Radio flyer. That was a radio flyer with the wagon to go along with it. So now I got to, you know, they say, you know, you go from young to old and go back. Well, go back to a trike. To go, I went back <laughs> to a trike. And, uh, and, and for us now, I mean, they're not for everybody. You know, and some people dog them, say they ain't, you know, they ain't a real motorcycle. And, all, and that's fine. I, I don't have any problem with that. I'm not trying to please anybody other than the lady behind the camera. Uh, and for us... Especially with the YouTube channel, uh, this was a very good uh, Makes move sense. for us. And, she and can it, video and video, take pictures, beat me on the back, tell me I'm not going the right direction. And my kids don't worry about me. 
Well. As much. As much. But, I mean, it just has a lot of pros with it, what y'all are doing. Because this is yeah. your transportation. It, well, you guys yes. can drive the truck. I can. We can drive the truck. But, you know, a lot of people are talking about, you know, and it's not as many as a lot of folks have. But we've got already got over 20,000 miles on it. There right. were a lot of days out west that we rode 300 plus miles a day, which ain't a lot for some folks. But then for most folks, they 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 they're just not going to do that. Right. But you know, uh, there there's. I said one thing. I'd probably get this before I got the wheels. Uh, another friend of ours put a trunk extension on it to put the trunk further back, so that allowed uh, his wife and him more room. Uh, a little more room front to back. Front to back, and that I think that would be a good thing for us, uh, maybe in the future. But uh, yeah, I'm you know now that we've had it this long, I'm been very pleased with it, uh, been very satisfied, and uh, I mean it'll it'll go as, and you know I can I I mean I'm not gonna hang with no crotch rocket, but you know. Right. I can I can get on around the curves pretty good. Matter of fact, a friend of us last year rode with us and won't call his name, but uh, he was behind. I did lead last year, and he said, man, you're just throwing that truck around them curves. Well, actually, ride it a while. You get used to it. So your lift kit and your higher handlebars. Oh, mate, dog, it's just, it's just it, I can't describe to you unless you've got one uh, and don't have them on it. I, I can't describe it because it's just unbelievable and not as much as the bars I don't think is the lift right. uh, but the bars it's just you, you, you have, have more leverage you have a whole lot more leverage more control uh, and you know you're you know you're, you're sitting here instead of here right which I like I like just a little in my elbows uh, but yeah happy well uh Hopefully this helped you guys out. Um, I'm just glad to see Dad actually talking in one of these videos. So uh, he just done it for this reason. Yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, I keep saying uh. There's a lot of videos. I looked up some, you know, when we was prepping for this. There's a lot with a lot of tech specs and this and that. And hopefully this is just more of a, you know, opinion overview. If right. you're looking for a trike, looking to make the switch, you know. And it's 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 almost limitless like what you anything can else what you them. can do to them right. just like i said uh i've had some friends that's done some things to theirs that i saw was very beneficial one was the bumper the lights i told her just as soon as i seen them i said i'm, I'm getting some of them what no i want some of them i said we're getting some of those and uh but one thing instead of the bras they've come out with a we uh, we Clear. talked about he touched it. On well, that they, yeah, a little bit. They've had it all along. Uh, there you can again. get that on vehicles too. Yeah, there again. Uh, my Canadian friend. He tries to call me daddy, but you know I'm not old enough to be his daddy. Uh, but he he dealt with some things, and and I would I never thought about it. If I had a thought about the three M, I would have tried to find probably somebody that done that. I, I personally now, if I had that to do over with again, and I guess I still could. I mean, yeah, as far as that goes, I would have put the 3M on it instead of the bras. Well, anything else you want to touch on? You want to start it real quick for us? Get a little clip of that? Maybe maybe we can. I don't know. We had the key on. It may not start. It might make a fool of both of us. This is a sorting together video, isn't it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we do thank you for those who come along uh, and watch the channel. You know, maybe somebody else is seeing this just on a kind of trikes. And I will say this, and if, if you've rode much uh, lately, there are more and more and more and more and more people getting trikes uh, a lot for the safety part of it. And, just on that note, kind of like a lot of people 
get the HDTs in the RV world, which a lot of people think there's overkill, but they get those for the larger rigs and all. So, uh, we're in upcoming videos. Upcoming videos. New places. New places. Never yep. been before. Never been. So, Dad's going to do the outro. I might help <laughs> a little bit. Well, there again, we thank you for uh, following the channel and. Uh, we would ask that you watch the channel as we are soaring, soaring together and living life in different places. <laughs>